late at night and I'm driving now to commence the expose of UK farms. I'm going to visit back-to-back -back farms here in the UK and we're going to show you guys, the audience, what the standard is here. I don't know what we're going to see in these farms, but I could have a pretty wild guess that it's not going to be good. The idea of this is to just paint a broad picture of where otherwise good-hearted people are spending their money and supporting funding industries that are horrific. And uh, these places, they operate in secrecy, but we're going to bring a pair of eyes in there and show you guys what's actually happening. All right, let's go. Nice and easy. So we're in a parent breeder shed for broiler chickens. So if you've ever wondered where the broiler chicks come from, they come out of these big parent breeder sheds where they, they have uh, the cockerels, the roosters in with the hens, and they actually, the roosters fertilize the eggs uh, from the hens and they actually go off to, to hatcheries to hatch and they, they're what make up the broiler sheds, uh, the chicks in the broiler sheds. So this is the parent breeder shed. It's so cruel to keep all of these roosters in with these hens and they're just repeatedly being mated, these hens, over and over and over. The hens can't escape anywhere and the roosters just look te in terrible condition. She looks very ill. That you, can, you can see the rooster's comb is just flopped over. It's not looking good. This rooster's foot is completely deformed. I think it's because they snip off their back talon, their little uh, claw, so they don't harm the hens as much when they're mating with them, but you can tell this rooster's foot is swollen, infected. So this place is so crowded. There are roosters and females just huddled on top of each other. There's dust in the air, it stinks. The rooster's combs are just flopped over. They just don't look very in very good condition or very healthy it's absolutely atrocious way for, for these animals to be kept together like this if you can see on the back ends of some of these hens they have been scratched up by the roosters because obviously this is a mating facility essentially so if you just have a look here see there's a scratch here This rooster looks, they just look terrible. Like his comb is all destroyed and just rotting. A lot of you watching this might not have thought down the line to how the chicks actually end up in a broiler shed. You know, the chicks that turn into the chickens that people eat at home? Well, they have to hatch out of eggs, don't they? And uh, hens don't just lay fertile eggs, they need a rooster to fertilise those eggs. And these are the types of facilities that, you know, make that fertilisation possible. These horrible, cramped, dusty, cruel facilities are where the fertilised eggs that hatch into the, the chickens that you go and eat, if you eat chickens. This place is in the UK here, so this is a UK parent breeder shed. This is an egg. Here's another one. So what happens? There's a, there's a conveyor belt. I think the uh, hens will usually lay their eggs up here and the, the eggs will end up on a conveyor belt and a conveyor belt rolls them down unless they pick them up and drop them on the conveyor belt like a farmer comes through here. But uh, there's a conveyor belt here for the eggs and the eggs go roll down here and they get packed and sent to a hatchery where they'd be incubated and hatched. 
See this here? There's a big mound of feces. That's just a big layer of shit. Look, this rooster's been attacking. He's got a feather. A feather in his beak. He's been attacking one of the other birds. Look at him. I'm not sure what's going on with whether that's just feces or whether that's a big rotten scab. You can see all their feathers coming off here. The reason parent sheds are so cruel, apart from the obvious that they're indoors and covered in feces and cramped in here together. Yeah, but it's mainly that the roosters mate with these hens over and over and over. And I know that in uh, parent breeding sheds for egg layers, what they'll do is something called spiking the flock. So when the males become less fertile and less active as they get older, they become you know less sort of economically viable. They don't mate as much. They will cull those roosters off and bring in new roosters so the hens really don't get a break. I'm not sure if that's the same thing for broiler parent breeders, but I mean, I could only imagine that that's true too. I don't think these birds would last very long in here. They look very sick, they look unwell, and they do starve them so they don't grow as big, so they don't have much flesh on their bodies so that the roosters can't tear them apart when they're mating with them. Horrible, it's like a hellhole in here. The birds look so unhealthy, pale, and they just look sick, and it uh, smells disgusting in here too. Yeah, they just not they just don't look good eh they look very um just not well but having to live in here your whole life i understand It just feels really sad seeing how desperate these animals look. They just look, this is just so unnatural for them, you know, and uh, this is what people are supporting places like this. I mean, you, no one really knows about places like this. I mean, this here is one of the secrets of animal agriculture, the parent breeding sheds, and uh, they're not exposed all that often, but they are horrible breeding facilities and uh, whenever you go out and you buy a chicken breast or you buy chicken slices or you buy a KFC or chicken wings, 
you're funding these places, you know, you're responsible for these animals to be in these dark, filthy, rotten hell holes, being forced to mate with each other. They can't escape the roosters in here, you know? It's just uh, disgusting suffering and horrible treatment of innocent birds so that they can produce eggs which make up, you know, the chicks that will be essentially slaughtered for your chicken burger. You know, just, there's so much that goes on down the line that you're just, would be completely unaware of if it wasn't for, you know, activists exposing it. And uh, the longer I'm an activist, the more sort of I learn and it just never ceases to shock me. Like, and imagine them trying to establish a pecking order in here. Like, they just couldn't, there's too many birds. They're, they're not used to having this many birds in a flock. Like there's 8,000 birds in here. It's not a very large shed, but uh, it's just, there's 800 roosters in here with them. Just all trying to be the alpha rooster, just fighting, attacking the smaller birds, pecking each other, scratching each other. See this? He just attacked. This hen here. It is, I can't believe we do this to these animals just for, you know, chicken burgers. It's sickening in here. They don't deserve it, these animals. Okay, so we just got out of that shed and um, just the putrid ammonia in there just burning my eyes and nose. It's just uh, only in there for an hour, but God, I don't, it's just horrible. It's just, just want to get some fresh air. Like those, those birds in there, they don't get to have fresh air probably until they go off to be slaughtered. Um, just, uh, it's a terrible, horrible facility. It's a hellhole. Um, I really, I uh, really don't know what else to say about it, eh? It's just, it is what it is. There's thousands of birds crammed in a shed, walking around on their own feces, laying eggs for the meat industry. Um, you know, roosters just pecking hens and hens just have been repeatedly mated over and over again in there. It's just exactly what exploitation looks like. It's just, this is non-human animal slavery. There's no other way to explain it. Like there are being, their bodies are being exploited, sexually exploited for the product that comes out of them. Their egg, you know, and their babies have been taken from them immediately. So the, the farmer come along, collect the eggs and they'll be incubated away from their mother, you know their chicks will hatch and never know who their mother was like how sad is that and the mother will never know who their chick was you know you know ch chickens are very maternal animals just like all animals <laughs> like they want to see their chicks hatch and you know imagine laying eggs and never getting to see your chick they get hatched in some hatchery facility far away it's just a sad sad existence and uh if you think it's sad and you, you eat chicken, then you're supporting places like this. So you have to stop, go vegan, stop supporting places like this. We're gonna go into this next shed and have a look around in there. And I can guarantee it's just as horrible as the first shed. So let's have a look. She can't stand up properly. Oh my God. 